Hey there guys, Ectomaster here. We're back with another case file. This one's a little late. I know I usually like to do this in the morning, but uh, I had some extra time for various reasons, and I decided to go ahead and just put this out as... do this as quick as possible. Literally, I have just finished playing this uh, not too long ago, and I, I'm putting it together for you. This is DC Universe Online, or DCUO, uh, and, well, we're going to get down to the nitty-gritty of it. I love superheroes. I mean, do not get me wrong, they are the most fantastic things in the whole world. I love reading comic books, I love the superhero movies, I love the franchises, give or take a few. They're, they're, I have some grumblings about some of them. Ahem, Amazing Spider-Man. Ahem. Anyways, that all aside, I love playing, uh, uh, I was about to say Citizens Online, it's not what it's called, City of Heroes, or COH, and uh, City of Villains, COV. Those were two of my favorite games. Um, they had their flaws, of course. But I did enjoy playing the two of them, especially when, you know, you could, when they announced it, they were doing City of Villains, and I was like, oh, thank God I wanted to be a bad guy because, let's face it, I'm evil. <laughs> I say that all the time and nobody ever takes me seriously. I am one, one lab accident away from uh, being a mad scientist, if I had a lab to have an accident in. Anyways, I enjoyed playing those. I also played Champions Online. So that's where I got the citizens from, Champions Online. So when DC announced that you could that they were making a game that basically was like City of Heroes, but in the DC Universe, and they were going to call it DC Universe Online, I was down for that. I wanted to do it. There was without a shadow of a doubt that I was going to sign up for that. And I did. And in fact, I had quite a few videos... Uh, showcasing that here on this channel itself. But I've never really sat down and talked about what is great about this series and what is absolutely terrible about this game. I love the game that it's... it's. I love for the fact that it is in the DC Universe and it takes place inside of that. That is fantastic. I love that. City of Heroes and City of Villains, it was a, it was a universe... But it wasn't an established universe. It wasn't a Marvel universe. It wasn't a DC universe. It was whatever universe that the company decided to create. And they had some that were... You could almost draw analogies to the heroes and things like that. But nobody... But there wasn't really a, a set universe. It, it wasn't... Yes, this is a, a product of an expansive universe... And it is so awesome that we we're able to get into it. Get into it. No, they didn't have that. Champions Online, same thing. And I had my major issues with Champions Online. The whole look of it, it was off to me. I mean, it was very off-putting. Um, but this, this is a very good style to it, a very good look. I like the way that the combat works. Um, I do have one complaint about the combat. is that you, It, it is very button mashy. Um, and there's a reason behind that, and I'll get to that reason why I really think there's a big downfall from this. But uh, it's very button mashy, but I do like it. You don't have a whole lot of abilities, but you do you can get a lot of abilities. It's it's just it's a fun game to go through. It's a fun game to play. But where the awesome stuff is, you know, you have, we have voice acting. But that is better than... I'm not going to say it's better than Star Wars The Old Republic. But it's executed better. It's not cutscenes, but at the end of uh, quests and everything, as we saw at the start... Or at the start of quests... Excuse me. Or at, some, at the start of some of the quests, you see that uh, like you got a message from the Joker. And it's Mark Hamill doing the Joker. And you get a message, if you're a hero, you get a message from Batman in Gotham. And it's Kevin Conroy doing Batman. If you take uh, Wonder Woman as your mentor, then and we're going to get all into that, into the story and everything here in a minute. But you take Wonder Woman as a mentor, it, it's the 
It was somebody different, but then they changed it over to the Wonder Woman who was in the cartoon show. So, uh, Justice League and everything. So, it was great. Excuse me. A little dry. Let's get into the story of the game first, and then we'll really get into the, my nitty-gritty about it. Basically, the story of the game, Lex Luthor from the, in the future has finally defeated all the superheroes, and some of the supervillains as well. Uh, and just in time for Brainiac to invade and start claiming Earth as his. So, yeah, it didn't go too well for uh, uh, Lex Luthor there. So Lex Luthor, in turn... Time travels back in time to just before all of this happened, and he warns the superheroes, hey, don't let me do this because shit's going to go down because Brainiac is coming. This time travel thing apparently alerts Brainiac. Uh, Lex Luthor stole something from Brainiac. It's what is known as exobytes, and we'll get into what those are. He releases them onto the world, and that's pretty much where it starts. Now, the Exobytes are uh, imbued with the powers of superheroes. Brainiac stole them, put them into, like, these computer things, and, like, they're, like, nanobytes. And Lex Luthor pretty much releases them onto the world. When that happens, that's where your character comes in. Your character was uh, embowed with these powers, and they are going out and kicking ass. Although what's interesting is that you could have like a brawler who is shooting a gun who, like my character here, cold hearted, she has acrobatics so she's not really like flying or super speed. It could literally just be a soldier and it's not really, you know, a superhero but they become a superhero because of whatever reason. Um, I mean, it's, it's got a good story behind it, and it's got the, the voice acting and the and cutscenes and things like that. Uh, the cutscenes are really cool, usually right after an instance, and instances in this can be soloed. Some of them, not all of them, some of them can be soloed. A lot of, there are regular instances where you have to have a group in order to do. And it's, it's, it's fun in that, but the fun only lasts for so long. Unfortunately, as you can see here, I am trying to attack the the beat cop, and what happens? Uh, I'm still locked onto the, the the rookie there, and that is just one of the many problems. The targeting in this game is terrible. It's you either have to lock on, or you don't, or you're not going to hit. What see like that guy was bugged out, but I thought he was a regular guy, so I was trying to lock onto him, and I couldn't lock on. Again, I've got the beat cop here. I want to attack the beat cop. My camera is turned to look at the beat cop. I am trying to attack the beat cop, but I was still on the rookie. The quests are also very unforgiving. I say that in the sense that, like, here it is. You have to, have to bribe five rookies, but through the course of this, I kill maybe uh, 15 or something like that, or close to it. It used to be a lot, lot worse. I mean, it used to be, you were going around killing guys left and right, going, oh my god, I just need one. Just one to start it. Not not even just one to finish it, one to start, and you couldn't get it to start. I got the first two right off the bat, and then the last two were right off the bat, or the last three or something like that. It just, it wasn't, It the quests are not very thorough. You know, here, Free Falcone's men from SWAT vans. Can anybody find a SWAT van for me? I see no SWAT vans. I see tons of cars, but I see no SWAT vans. Because the SWAT vans, if you look on the mini mini map, are white dots. So are the trigger men. They're white dots. So are the rookies when you go to interact with them. They are white dots. The red dots are just your average everyday you know mob but obviously if you look at it there are a ton of red dots no matter what you do you're surrounded by mobs and it's just I know it's supposed to be in a city and it's supposed to make sense but at the same time if you notice at the start of this video we had to go a very long way just to 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 get to the first quest to do there is a lot 
that unfortunately the reason why and I the reason that I blame there is so much quote unquote broken with this is the fact that not only were they making this for the PC, they were making it for the PlayStation 3. So instead of taking the PlayStation the the PC version and dumbing it down to the PlayStation version, they instead just made one version and just kept it at the PlayStation version, which makes the PC version a little lacking. The customization of your character, if you played City of Heroes, or if you played uh, Champions Online, is lacking. It is, if you think World of Warcraft is bad, this one is just like slightly a step higher than World of Warcraft's customization of their characters. And WoW doesn't have a whole lot that you can do. For a superhero where, obviously, the look of your character is absolutely everything. I mean, downright everything. If your char you want your character to look a certain way, you, you set them up that way. But, at the same time, this causes a major issue because you don't have a whole lot to choose from. Especially, you know, the way of, uh, I'm going to say, the way of hairstyles for, for female characters is very little. Uh, clothing options are not, it's like, okay, it, there's nothing that really syncs up. Like, shoe-wise, you would think that, like, like in, in uh, City of Heroes and Champions Online, you could get a look together that, that had gloves, boots, pants, shirt, and cape was the only thing that you couldn't get because you had to wait a while to get a cape. But everything else you could match up. And they had names and everything. It made it easy to match. Especially if you're making a hero and you're going for a certain look. In DC Universe Online, you have a few things that ha go together. But for the most part, it's mainly just a shirt and pants that actually go together. And... Customization is just, I just look at it and go, it's not very, there's not a whole lot to it. So it kind of, to me, it just, that's a disappointment. When I have, you know, when I have this and it's a, and I can't customize all too well, it just, that makes me, it disappoints me greatly. Now, what I'm finding interesting here, I know I'm jumping topics here, but if you're watching, it says press J to access your journal to bring up the thing to track. As long as you're on the job. In the past, uh, first and foremost, the, the quest that I got where you had to bribe the rookies was actually on top of the the Big Belly Burger thing. Take everything you can get, right? now, then it was moved outside, but you still had to go over and talk to them. There's nothing to follow up with this quest. It just ends. And I don't know. I honestly don't know if I got anything in my my inventory because it doesn't show me on the uh, the list of whether or not I have something uh, combat wise you know I love the game but as you just saw I was stunned I was trying to move I was trying to block the stun or get out of the stun and it wasn't showing me that I was getting out of the stun it just showed me that I was in the stun the other thing that that really injured and I say injured in the in the sense that it hampered the growth of this game. Uh, the biggest one is because they were making for, making it for the PlayStation 3 to be the first MMO on a major console, which EverQuest actually did, but this is run by SOE as well. Uh, and EverQuest had its own uh, PlayStation game. This game only has two areas. Actually, I, I, will, I will give it four. Four main areas. You have the main hub for the heroes and the villains, uh, Hall of Doom and the Watchtower. And you have Gotham City and you have Metropolis. That's it. No Central City, no, no anything else. Gotham City and Metropolis. Those are the only two areas that you can play. Now, they're big, but at the same time, this can cause problems with PvP. In World of Warcraft, it's if you're going to compare an MMO, you have to start with World of Warcraft. In World of Warcraft, yes, there are areas that are designated as level 90, and the level 90s, 
tend to be in that area, quote unquote. I'm not going to say that they stay to that area, but that's where they would tend to gather. There are areas that are designated level 1 to 10. There are areas that are designated 20 to 24, 25, 30, what have you. There is nothing here that says this is a level 1 area. This is a level, I, I think I'm 4. This is a level 4 area. Nothing designates that. Thankfully, I was playing with this. I was playing on the on a PVE server and not PVP. We did encounter a um, hero earlier or later in this video. I don't know if we'll get to it or not. We did encounter a hero, and uh, if I was on a PVP server, he could have just outright killed me. And you don't die; you get knocked out. But it's still, now here here's the quest that I was talking about earlier. Okay, so I completed the quest, the exclamation mark is there, I go to turn it in, there's nothing to turn in. I, do you want to do it again? No, I don't want to do it again, I want to turn it in so I can get my rewards for doing it. I don't even know if I got rewards for doing it, I just, at this point, it's move on, and that's what we do. But there is just so much from this game, there is so much potential for this game that was just absolutely wasted by the fact that they wanted to put it on the PS3. And again, I don't have anything against consoles, and I would love for a world where you can play on the console and play on the PC at the same exact time and be able to do and, and interact with people on the say at the same exact time. And there is no difference between what's happening on the console and what's happening on the PCU or or the PC. But companies don't think like that. The way that they think is, well, we're going to put it on both, but we're going to have a server for the PC and a server for the, the console. And since we're putting it on the console, and the consoles can't handle it, can't handle the way that they do with a, a, a PC with an MMO, we're going to dumb down everything so that uh, it, just, it just flows together better. And in the end, that's just, that's not a conducive way to, to to do this it's not it's it you, you they could have done a whole lot better with this game if they just stuck it stuck with it being on a pc and then maybe maybe retooled it and redid it so that it would work on console this is completely different from uh this is different from diablo 3 going on pc and console pc and console on that it was worked on, worked together, and looked flawless. That's because I believe that uh, there was actually a, a console version of Diablo at one point. I'm not positive. Do not quote me on that. I'm not positive, but I thought there was, and so it, it made sense and it worked. And there's nothing wrong with that because it wasn't an MMO. It was an RPG, but not an MMO. RPG. There was no massive multiplayer online experience with Diablo 3. Granted, I can make a clan and I can join up with three of my buddies and we can go out and we can play uh, Diablo 3 all together at the same time on the PC. Or I can do it all by myself and not have anybody join me. DC Universe Online, on the other hand, they decided to make for a PC and the console and because they decided to do both at the same time, and if you remember, Diablo 3 came out first, and then it came on the console. It wasn't the other. It wasn't the other way around. It wasn't on console first and then on the PC. Nor was it on the console and the PC at the same time. It was PC first and then the console, which is what SOE should have done with DC Universe Online, because in the end, the other thing that harmed it was the fact that nobody wanted to pay extra money to play an MMO on the console. To them it didn't make sense. Consoles don't pay monthly fees except for Xbox Live and PlayStation Network and things like that. So you had those that had the console and they did not want to play again here, here's another flaw with the, the combat where I was had a guy next to me. Obviously I should attack the guy that is next to me 
I turn and face the guy that is next to me, and I fly across the map and attack somebody else. It makes no sense. It's just, there's so much that was wasted with the, the possibility of this game, that it, it's just, it's not, it's fun, but it's not. For example, everybody has to do a, do the tutorial. If you leave in the middle of the tutorial, the tutorial starts all over again at the start of the tutorial. And you have no choice but to go through it all over again. I have literally had my computer crash while I've been, for whatever reason, I think I actually lost power. And not to my computer, like power all over, all out. And it was something that was, uh, you know, I, I mean, it came right back up. But I was playing, and I was like, screw it, I'm not going back in, into DCU, because the character that I just made that I think would be pretty awesome to play, I have to do the tutorial all over, all over again. And I was just about done with it. Everybody has to do, do the tutorial. You cannot skip it, which is one thing that I loved about uh, City of Heroes and City of Villains, is that you could skip the tutorial at the same time, you didn't get the levels that you got in the, in the tutorial. So you get like two levels in this tutorial. But here's the, the kicker. It is the same exact tutorial. Whether you are a hero or a villain. It is the same exact thing. The other thing that hurts this is that. If you're, if you're playing a hero. And you get to level 10. At that point. I'm not even level 10. I think it might be like level... Well, just around level 10. Everything... See, here, here, here is the hero that was standing around. Luckily, as I said, I was on PvE. He was probably looking to kick my ass. And I realized that he couldn't do it. Why? Because I wasn't set to PvP. Uh, but... In this, you know, if, if you... Once you get to like level 10... You don't stay in Gotham. You don't stay in Metropolis. You just go wherever the next questing is. And if you notice, I'm getting the XP. And I kill a guy. One experience. I, I kill a guy. Four experience. I, don't care what you do. I do the quest. One experience. It's, it's, you're not getting experience from killing the mobs. If you went out and you were killing mobs, you would not be able to level not in the in the sense or the hope that you would get if you were level if you were killing mobs in World of Warcraft where you could get a decent amount of experience just by killing the mobs not so much here in DCUO DCUO you have to do the quest if you do not do the quest or do not do the instances you are not getting experience and i just think that's poor design very poor design because there you get to a point that you go and I've had this multiple times where I can't do the quest. The quests are too high for me because the mobs are too high where you're sending me. But I don't have anything else to do. Oh, you're telling me I can go do an instance. I don't even know what I am. They, they've taken the, the, the typical tank, damage, and healer class. And if you look, Elder Scrolls Online has tank, healer, damage. I believe Guild Wars 2 sets it up nice and easy. Tank, healer, damage. Uh, even a Wild Star, you could do Assault, Support, or whatever else it was. But it's clearly defined on what it is. DCUO, it's, yeah, you're, uh, you're a control. You can see, knee tank, knee troll, which is a controller. I'm like, I'm looking at a controller. Isn't that, like, <laughs> you know, support or heals? No, that that is pretty much like... A middle ground between healer and a, a DPS. You're like a utility. Your whole point and focus is to stand there and be a tool for the rest, for everybody else. That's it. It's just, I want to enjoy this game. I really do. I really want to enjoy this game. And time and time again... I'll see, like, they'll, they'll put one of the things on sale, and I'll go out, and I'll get it, and I'll play it for a little bit. I'll get to, like, level... Like, the highest level I've ever gotten was, like, level 16, I think, maybe 20. And there's only 30, 30 or 40 levels. 
So I haven't even gotten to Endgame. I just it starts to get boring after a while. I hate to say that about a game. I mean, it just you get to a point where it's just like I don't know what to do. I just I don't know where to go next. It doesn't clearly there is literally a no clear definition at one point on where to go next. If you're not level ten you and you don't have the quest to do uh to look around in the the base you don't know what to do next you you can't go obviously you can't go out and kill mobs you're not getting experience from that you know you get one to two experience maybe four that's that's and you you don't even know how much experience you need <laughs> there's no there's no mouse cursor i i'm I'm not playing this with a definable mouse. Uh, because it was set for controller. It wasn't set for mouse and keyboard. And again, that comes down to the fault of the company of making it strictly and designing it strictly for the console and not adapting it precisely to... So, essentially, it was a port without actually having been ported. Their whole plan was to put this onto the PC, um, sorry, onto the PS3 and make it a sellable MMO for the PS3 and it damaged the continuity, the, the feel of it f on the computer, the, the whole, and there are people that will sit here and they will defend it and I'm glad you guys enjoy it, I want to enjoy it, I just, I can't. I get bored with it rather easily. I end up deleting characters and starting all over again. And in fact, like the cold-hearted here, I would love to continue with her. But even I'm thinking about about redoing her, just because I, I there's nothing to do. It's it's not that it's super boring, but it's it's super boring. I don't have much more else to say, guys. I, it's I I honestly I don't. I'm disappointed. To say I'm disappointed with this title would it's that's the least that I could say. There's so much potential and I think it's just wasted. Ironically, this is one of the first times that I've gone through the entire video. And it's about to end, so I'm just gonna say guys, that is all I have to say. If I said any more, I'd go over my time limit. I'm Echo Master, I'll see you next week with another case file. Oh, now what? The Apocalyptean cannons are here safe and sound, but the police have raided the warehouse. <laughs> the things I do to maintain chaos in this town. Get in there and keep them away from those crates. Oh, yes. And Batty sent that psycho mob-hating huntress to investigate. <laughs> Give her a love tap or three for me.